two, three, four. There's really eight. You can't, right? Eight. Are there eight on this side? Yeah. And there, I think there's some on the other I, one. We too. saw those a little bit when we went down there. Oh, you went over there? Yeah, we thought we were going to pull that. We really. Did you guys see that? That might have been the grand finale. The Apple Baseball Classics, where yesterday's stars performed through cards and dice. Classic games on our tabletops. Hello, everybody. This is Appa Brian and Appa Baseball Classics, and welcome to iconic moment number 10 in this project, Enos Slaughter's Mad Dash to Home in the seventh game of the 1946 World Series. In the bottom of the eighth inning, in a 3-3 type ball game, St. Louis was up to bat. And as the Red Sox took the field in the bottom of the eighth, Bob Klinger was sent out on the mound to pitch. Roy Partee replaced Hal Wagner as catcher. And Leon Culberson moved to center field. Edith Slaughter led off the inning with a single. And after two were out, Harry Walker came to bat, and he had hit a shot over Johnny Pesky's head in the left center field. Slaughter managed to stretch a safe trip to third with his daring base runner and pushed St. Louis into a 4-3 to three lead, which they would hold on and win the game and win the series. After the game, Johnny Pesky said, I'm the GOAT. I never expected he'd try to score. I couldn't hear anybody hollering at me above the crowd, and I gave Slaughter at least six strides with the delay. I knew I could have nailed him if I suspected he would have tried for the plate. I'm the GOAT, no, about, no doubt about it, quote Johnny Pesky. We're going to replay Game 7 of the 46 World Series using the actual lineups. We've had the introductions. Let's play ball. Wally Moses steps into the box for the Red Sox. 56 is a 34, and that is a pop-up. High on the infield towards second base. Red Shandy's calls for it and makes the catch, and there is one away. We're playing... Basic APA, I'm using the copyright 1986 boards. Johnny Pesky comes to bat. 24 is a 27. Ground ball to third base. That is Whitey Karoski. He makes a long throw across. Two outs. Now the little professor, Dom DiMaggio, center fielder for the Red Sox. 1-1 roll, that's a hit column roll for DiMaggio. Hit 316 in 40 
six. 61 is going to be a two out double for the little professor. He's in scoring position for Ted Williams. Lifetime 344 hitter. Slumped to 342 and 46. 38 home runs. Here's the pitch. 56, but no go here. Another pop-up on the infield toward the mound. Shane Deeks calls for it. Makes the catch. We go to the bottom of the first. Red Sox don't score. They stand, strand a runner at second base. St. Louis comes to bat. Nothing, nothing. All right, Red Shane Deese will lead off for the Cardinals in the bottom of the first inning. 281 hitter in 46, but he only had a 322 on base percentage, which if I was managing, I don't think I'd have him leading off. Uh, Wade Kroski had a 391 on, on base percentage. 1-3 is a 36 for ball one. Lou Ferris is on the mound for the Red Sox. He's a grade A pitcher. Z modifier, 25-game winner in 46. 4-4 four, four is a base hit for Shane Deist. Okay, well, you must have heard what I said. And proves his medal as a leadoff batter. He's on base, fast runner. No outs, and here is Terry Moore. All right, we're going to start the runner. Moore swinging. Here's the pitch. 43, 29. Ground ball back to the pitcher, Ferris, who throws out more at first base. But on the hit and run, Shane Deese goes to second. One away, and here is Stan the Man, Musial. Musial, 365 with a six, with 16 homers and 46. Here's the pitch to Stan the Man. 13 is a ball four. Boo Ferris taking special care with Musial walks him. First and second Cardinals, one out. Here's Country Slaughter. 3-5 is a 9. Very slow roller tap to the pitcher. Ferris Fields only play is to first. Two outs and the runners move up 90 feet. It's second and third for Whitey Karaski. Infield always playing back with two outs. Here's the pitch. 5-5 five, five is a Line drive to left field. Ted Williams doesn't have to move. He makes the catch. Three outs. Go to the top of the second. Boston, nothing. And St. Louis, nothing. I don't think I said, but Murray Dixon is a great BZ pitcher. He's pitching to Rudy York, Bobby Dore, and Pinky Higgins in the second inning. Rudy York, former Detroit Tiger. 2-4 is a swing and a miss. Dixon strikes him out. First strikeout in the game. One away. Bobby Door. 6-1 is a ground ball to shortstop. Taken by smooth feeling Marty Marion. Throws the first. Two outs. Pinky Higgins. And 65 is popped up behind home. Joe Garagiola throws away the mask and makes the catch. Three up and three down for the Red Sox. We go to the bottom of the second. No score. All right, Boo Ferris returns to the mound for the Red Sox. He won 21 games his rookie season in 45 and 26 in 46. Also won a World Series game. Joe Garagiola leads off for St. Louis. 61 is a fly ball to Ted Williams and left. One down. Here's Harry the Hat Walker. Well, on to become a major league manager. 45 is a walk. Walker is a fast runner at first. Here's the eighth place hitter, Marty Marion. Marion was a 233 hitter in 1946. There's the pitch. 14 is a fly ball to left field. Ted Williams moves slightly to his left, makes the catch. Now the pitcher, Murray Dixon. Let's see, Dixon. Was a 277 hitter in 1946, so he is quite capable with the bat. But 65 popped up behind home base, and that's going to be caught by Hal Wagner. Three outs. We go to the top of the third inning. No score. All right, both teams getting base runners in the early innings, but they've not been able to take advantage. 
bottom of the Red Sox orders will take take on Murray Dixon in the top of the third, starting with the eighth place here, Hal Wagner, then Blue Ferris. 24 is a swing and a miss. Strike three, that's Dixon's second strikeout. Here's the pitcher, Blue Ferris, a 207 hitter in 46. 1 4 is a fly ball to left field. Harry the Hat Walker has it, two outs. And now Wally Moses. Twenty five is a base hit for Wally Moses, and he can scoot. He's ready to fast. Johnny Pesky, three thirty five hitter, six six roll. That's a hit call and roll for Pesky. Thirty six is a double, and with two outs, Wally Moses will score easily for the Red Sox. One to nothing, Boston. Pesky determined not to be the GOAT in this game. Here is the little professor, Don DiMaggio, who doubled in the first inning. 21 is a fly ball to center field. Terry Moore has room. He makes the catch. That ends the top of the third, but the Red Sox are on the board with Johnny Pesky's double. Boston 1, St. Louis 0. Back to the top, and Red Chaindings, who singled and made it as far as third, 51. 8 against a, a pitcher. That is going to be nubbed near the mound. Picked up by Ferris and throws the first. One away. Terry Moore. 2-2 two -two roll is a base hit for Terry Moore. A little blooper to left. Of course, it'll look like a hot smash in the box score. Here's Stan Musial. 4-4 is a hit column roll for Stan the Man. This could be a St. Louis run. 55 is a drive. It might be. It could be. It is out of here. A two-run home run for Stan Musial. And the St. Louis favorite son is uh, put the Cardinals in front 2-1. Here is Slaughter. 52 is a 27. Hard hit smash to third, barehanded by the third baseman. Pinky Higgins, a throw to first. It's two outs. And now Whitey Karoski. 3 5 is a 9 against an A. That's going to be an. Strikeout gets him on a curveball. Three outs. We go to the top of the four at St. Louis two, Boston one. All right, Ted Williams, who popped out the second base his first time up. 24 is a swing and a miss. Strike three. Dixon gets his third strikeout against the left handed here. Here's Rudy York. 51. Nine. Sharp ground ball past the shortstop gets beyond Marty Marion's glove. Base hit for York. He's on. He's now one for two. A slow runner will play it safe with all the slow runners, unless I say otherwise. Here's Bobby Doerr. 42. Two balls and no strikes. Murray Dixon has the Z modifier. 1-2 is a 25. Both teams are column one in this basic epic game. And that ball is ripped to second baseman. Red Chandies, he flips to Marion over the first. It is a 4-6-3 inning ending double play. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning, St. Louis 2, Boston 1. Joe Gary's yellow will lead off the bottom of the fourth for the Cardinals. He grew up on the hill in St. Louis, just across the street from Yogi Berra. Here's a pitch to Joe Garagiola, 33 roll. Soft blooper to right field. It's going to fall in, and Garagiola's on with a leadoff single. He's one for two. Average speed at first base. Here's Harry the Hat Walker. 3-1. Two balls and no strikes. Both pitchers have the Z rating. 4-4 is an eight. Little squiver near the mound. 
picked up by Ferris, throws in time. Walker is out one to three, but Garagioli goes to second. Only possible play Ferris had was at first base. Here's Marty Marion, the eighth place hitter. Fly out the left his first time up. Pitch 25. Soft roller to shortstop. Charging in to get it is Johnny Pesky. He picks it up, bare hands, throws the first. Out. Rogiello goes to third. Two outs. The Cardinals have another runner 90 feet away. Here's the pitcher, Murray Dixon. 277 here. Here's the pitch to Dixon. 22 is a fly ball to left field. Soft fly ball racing in to get it is Williams, and he gets there and makes the catch. Three outs. And Garagiola will be stranded at third. We go to the top of the fifth. Cardinals two, Red Sox one. Murray Dixon returns to the mound for St. Louis. He's given up four hits and no walks and one run to the Red Sox. He was a winning pitcher in the playoffs for the Cardinals in 1946. They had to beat out the Dodgers. They finished in a tie. So in a best of three series, he pitched game two, and St. Louis already won game one. So he won the deciding game in that playoff series. And then he was a starting pitcher in game seven. As you know, he's pitching here in the World Series. Here's Pinky Higgins. Leads off for Boston, 62-26. Hard hit near the hole. Marion's got it. Pivots and throws. He is out. And yeah, Marty Marion, probably, well, probably the most, the best defensive shortstop of his area makes, makes a Outstanding play here. Higgins retired 6-3. to three. Marty Marion is rated a 10 as a shortstop. There aren't very many of those. And Appa here is Hal Wagner. 2-6 is a 27. Ground ball to third. Picked up by Whitey Karoski. And Wagner is out. Two outs. That brings up the pitcher, Boo Ferris. And 35 is a swing and a miss. Strike three, the fourth strikeout for Murray Dixon. Three up and three down. Dixon set down five Red Sox in a row. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Two to one Cardinals. Red Shane he slides off the last of the fifth for St. Louis. He got off to a grand start in his career. 278, 1945. His first year, he's in his second year. And he led the National League in stolen bases and also hit the game-running home run in the All-Star game. Here's a pitch to Red Shandies. 4-4 roll is a base hit for Shandies. He's two for three. Fast runner at first. Terry Moore. 5-5 five, five is an eight against an A pitcher. Number near the mound. Ferris has it, throws to first. Shane Deese goes to second. One out. Now Stan Musial, who's already gone deep in this game, he is one for one with a home run and a walk. 3-2 is a 26. And that is going to be a ground ball. Hit hard to second base. Doors got it and throws out Musial. Runner goes to third, two outs, country slaughter. Consistent 300 hitter for the Cardinals. Here's the pitch to slaughter, 25 is an eight, gets an A. And that's a hot shot grabbed by Ferris. And he gets slaughter out at first. Another score, play scored one to three. We go to the top of the sixth. Two to one Cardinals. All right, the Red Sox are trailing by a penny in the top of the sixth inning. Let's see if Wally Moses could split the Red Sea, get something going for Boston. 62 is a ground ball back to Dixon. He's got it, throws the first. One out. Here's the second place hitter, uh, Johnny Pesky. Pesky is one for two with a double and an RBI. 2-2 two -two roll is a base hit for Pesky. He's two for three. Fast runner at first base. Don DiMaggio. He is one for two with a double. 
46 is a swing and a miss, strike three. Dixon gets an important strike out here, but it's not going to get easier. Here is Ted Williams to the stretch. Here's the pitch, 42. Two balls, no strikes. Working carefully to the splendid splinter. Here's the pitch. 2-5 is an 8. Tap back to the mound. Dixon's got it. He throws the first. Retires Williams, who is now 0 for 3. We go to the bottom of the 6. It's still the Cardinals 2, the Red Sox 1. All right, Whitey Kowalski leads off for the Cardinals. 52 is a 27. Ground ball to third base, tied to the line. Higgins has it, throws the first. Whitey Kowalski is out, one down. Joe Garagiola, longtime host on the Today Show, and I loved his broadcasting. I just love, love of course, his sense of humor. I think he paired with Tony Kubek, one of my all-time all favorite teams. 21, uh, also Kurt Gowdy, great broadcasters back in those days. 2012. Grounded to first base. Play made by Rudy York. Unassisted. Rajel's retired. There's two outs. Here's Harry Walker. 31 is a base on balls. Second walk issued to Harry the Hat. He's on first with two outs and Marty Marion. First, the pitch to Mar Marion. Uh, the pitcher's got a higher batting average. Here's the pitch to Marion. 35. Two balls, no strikes. Uh, walk the hard way. Now, here is the pitcher. He's, he has a 277 hitter, Murray Dixon. And he has been retired. Tired two times, popped to catcher and fly to left. Pitch to Dixon. 2-2 two, two roll. That's going to be an RBI base hit to left field by the pitcher, Murray Dixon. Drives in Walker. Marion goes to third. 3-1 three to one, St. Louis. Big base hit for the pitcher helping his own cause. Here is Red Shandies. First and third, two outs. 25 is, I think it's going to be an out, a deep drive to right field, but it'll stay in the ballpark. Wally Moses is under it, makes the catch. Cardinals add one in the sixth. Murray Dixon does the work. We go to the top of the seventh, 3-1 to one St. Louis. All right, this is a fatigue inning for Murray Dixon. Three bad things happen. His grade will go down. He is pitching to Rudy York, Bobby Doran, and Pinky Higgins. 21 is a swing and a miss, strike three. Six strikeouts for Dixon. And here is Bobby Doerr. Now he had a good day. He's rolled out twice, once into a double play. 1-1 one, one roll, though. That's a four. Doerr crushed this one. That's going to go to the wall in center field. Here's a throw from Terry Moore to second base. He is safe with a double. One out. One on set, in scoring position in second. Here's Pinky Higgins. The pitch to Higgins, 35, is ball four. Dixon puts him on first and second. Higgins is slow. Dora is average. We'll play it safe with Higgins. He represents a tie and run. Here's the catcher. We're not going to play it safe. He represents a tie and run. We'll see what happens. Don't bring up the catcher, Hal Wagner. And a 1-6 roll. That's going to be hit on the ground to the second baseman. Shandy's flips to Marion. It's short over the first. It's a inning-inning double play. All right, we had the camera turned off accidentally, but the roll was a 2-5 to your pitch hitter for Boston, George Mekovic. He is a uh, 
246 hitter and gets a base hit against Dixon on that 2-5 roll. So uh, runner on first, no outs. And now Dixon's got three marks against his fatigue, and he has become a great C pitcher looking at the top of the order and Wally Moses. First in the actual game to relieve the, uh, for the Cardinals was Harry the Cat Brasheen, and he'll be brought in here. From Broken Bow, Oklahoma. Dixon goes out. Like Boo Ferris, he pitches seven innings. And so far he's given up one run, but is responsible for Mekovich at first. Here is Wally Moses facing Harry the Cat Brusheen, great B pitcher with the Z modifier. Um, he will get the bump up to A for same side. And this here's the pitch 45. Two balls, no strikes. He's got a Z modifier for control. 65. Popped up back toward the screen behind the plate and caught by Garagiola. One away. Here's Johnny Pesky. 16 is a 28. Grab ball to short. Marion's going to go for the lead runner and get Mekovic out 6-4. to four. Fielder's choice. Johnny Pesky's runner at first. He is fast. Two outs and Dominic DiMaggio. 25 is a grounder back to the mound. Snagged by Brasheen. Throws the first. Three outs. Red Sox are retired in the top of the eighth. It's still 3-1 to one Cardinals. Last of the eighth, Bob Klinger will be brought on to try to hold the Redbirds to just a two-run lead. He is a great B pitcher and no modifiers. Klinger... Shined with a 2.37 ERA in 1946. He's got Joe Garagiola in the batter's box looking at him. 26 is a hard hit ball near the hole. Taken by Pesky. He pivots and throws. One out. Harry the Hat Walker. 23 is a ground ball back to Klinger. Two outs. And now Marty Marion. 46 is a swing and a miss, strike three. So Bob Klinger comes in, does a fine job for the Red Sox. We go to the top of the ninth. St. Louis three and Boston one. All right, Ted Williams will lead off the top of the ninth inning for the Red Sox. Fortunately, the bases are clear. Fortunately for the Cardinals. Uh, I believe Ted Williams was, as he said, the greatest hitter who ever lived. Uh, his stats were held down by missing so many years uh, in the war, serving in World War II in Korea. I think he had 2010 eyesight. That was probably one of the keys. But he also worked at his craft probably harder than anyone of his day. And uh, Williams, when he was older, I was told a story by one of my coworkers when I was working at General Motors. Um, huge baseball fan. His name was J.D. Cook. Son played baseball up through uh, AAA and the Pittsburgh Pirates organization in the 2000s. Uh, no, actually in the 1990s. He was once a teammate of Barry Bonds in the minors. But he said he saw Ted Williams along about 1960 or 59 taking batting practice at Kansas City Municipal Stadium. And he was doing a little trick that he liked to do um, he put polish on his bat and then would announce in batting practice exactly where he hit the baseball. And he did uh, three balls that way. And when they brought him back, they were where he said he hit them, the, the marks on the ball. Here is Ted Williams. 5-3 is a 16. Ted hits it on the nose. It's a sinking liner to center. Terry Moore comes in. He has got it. Fine play by the Cardinal center fielder. For the first out in the ninth inning, two to go. And the Cardinals will be the 1946 world champions. Here is Rudy York. 1-3 is a base on balls. That gets the tie run to the plate. Cardinal fans sitting on the edge of their seats. This is a tight one. Bobby Doerr, 18 home runs in 1946. 
All right, the roll was off camera here, and we had another base on balls. Runners at first and second. All right, Leon Coberson will pitch it for the Red Sox. All right, the wheels are turning, and the Cardinals are going to make a move. They're going to bring in pitcher Ted Wilkes, right-hander. He is a grade B with no modifiers. He'll be grade A. Pitching to the right-handed Leon Culberson. Same sidedness. Here's a pitch to Culberson. 61. Hit to Shane Deese. Over to Marion. Over to first. Bang, bang. Double play. That's the ball game. The Cardinals hold on with the ground ball double play served up by Ted Wilkes. They win the game. St. Louis 3. Boston 1. We'll be back with the wrap-up. All right, here's the line score of today's game. The Boston Red Sox scored one run on seven hits and no errors. St. Louis scored three runs on six hits and no errors. The winning pitcher was Murray Dixon. Seven innings, one earned run given up. Ted Wilkes gets the save, basically with one pitch, serving up a double play. And uh, Boo Ferris is the loser. Seven innings pitch, three earned runs. One home run in the game, that was by Stan Musial, a two-run homer in the third inning. Today's star of the game is starting pitcher Murray Dixon. He was a mad scientist on the mound, offered up different a whole variety of pitches. And um, in this game, he only allowed six hits. And I check that, seven hits. But he struck out six and only walked one batter. So Murray Dixon is the star of the game. Hope you enjoyed this broadcast. Started out with hot air balloons and ended with a double play. Um, this game will be posted Tuesday. It's being played on Memorial Day. We're going to have some interruptions here. Um, my Some of my family is in, in town from western Kansas, and we're going to be watching the grand, grand boys for the next week and camping with them. And so I'm not sure... When the next game is going to be, it'll probably be on Tuesday of next week, possibly Monday. We'll see how it goes. But hang in there. Uh, I'll be back putting up games every weekday, and we're doing the iconic moments, all the high points of baseball history. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and God bless.